Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Swish Tummo, and today I'm going to showcase for you, viewer, the brand new Angel Element. It was just released today into Elemental Battlegrounds, and I'm going to tell you all about it in the game. So, this is a fusion. It is a fusion of spirit and light. And once you have all of those, for a uh, insurmountable cost of 2,000 diamonds, uh, you can fuse them into Angel. Making this, by the way, in total, not only with that price of 2,000, but also with the price of light and spirit, it is the most expensive element. I think 3.1k is the total amount of diamonds you'll need for it, Yeah, if you have no elements. Anyway, we have a beam move, a multi-shot, a teleport, a body, I haven't had one of those in a while, and an ult, of course. I will show you those in my own personal favorite order. What they do, what they are, what they're called. First off, the Divine Arrow, beam move. The user grows angel wings and then creates a magnificent bow, uh, which fires a glowing arrow made of light to deal high damage. You can charge this or not. I'm going to show you uh, it used whilst charging. So let's see. Pretty snazzy sounding stuff. I like it. Uh, this will also deal knockback, which I will show you on a player in a moment. And I believe it makes your screen shake a bit as well. It's a very long charge time, but it's a lot of damage. I think probably around 500? Maybe? Maybe that's just with my max damage, but uh, I think it's close to that. So you can also not charge it and shoot it, but it won't be as much damage, of course. Next up is the multi-shot, Quill Divers. User raises off the ground, firing heat-seeking quills from their wings. This will launch the caster backwards and deal medium damage to opponents. Oh, heat-seeking, man. I, I never thought I'd see the day when they'd add it to the game. Heat-seeking stuff. But anyway, I'll charge it for you. Yep. Fires a volley of arrows, but... You can't really tell yet. Again, I'll show you on players in a moment, but they will heat seek after players. And depending on where you're aiming, if I aim at the ground, I move up and away in the opposite direction of those wings. Those wings will also deal damage if you're close enough, by the way, for bonus damage. So next up is the body, Angelic Aura. User gets a glowing aura that grants them a speed boost, heals them over time, and converts their dodge moves into a teleporting ability. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. That body does a lot. Let's see it. We're going Super Saiyan. It's healing us. We're not sprinting. Oh, we are sprinting. Never mind. Here's not sprinting. You're sprinting. And my flips. Bam. 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 Short teleport instead of usual flips double tapping. So yeah, there's that. Pretty darn cool. And we don't have a very long cooldown on that either, so... Wowee! That might, that might see a nerf in its future. Don't know. Uh, next up, the teleport. Flash Slash. Catchy name. Uh, user grasps a holy sword and flies in the direction of their mouse cursor to deal low damage and steal mana. Uh, the user has the ability to strike up to four opponents if done consecutively. So let's charge that, similar to how Acid looks. We fly forward and we get a little bar here. And you'll see in a minute what that bar means, but it'll tell us how many times we can strike players and I believe how long each little dash lasts. Um, let's see if I can get a better camera shot of how that looks though. Oh yeah, get a little sword. Very cool. Low cooldown and... By stealing mana, you can do this for almost no mana cost if you get enough players. We'll do the old last on some players and you'll see how that looks, so let's find some now. Alright, we have some players here. They look pretty unsuspecting. Owie! Phoenix, please no. Oh no, I don't want to be Phoenix, I really don't. Okay, anyway, let's try the beam on them and we will see the knockback effect from that. Charge it up. Wait for that epic charge time. Ha! Your phoenix missed. Shoot him! Wow, he goes far. That might be 
as far, if not farther than um, Chaos or Wind. I'm not sure. We'll do an uncharged of this real quick as well. Bam. Small radius, but uh, pretty good damage. Wow, look at his health. And um, knockback, really good. Next, the multi-shot. Charge it. Aim at him. Oh, he, he Phoenix teleported away. Wow, but it still hit him. Heat seeking. We can probably finish him off with that move as well. We did. Here, let me get some better footage of that for you. The heat seeking. It's pretty cool. Hit him. And they all hit him. We're not going to make it, though. Oh, well, we did make it. Amazing. But yes, epic heat seeking. I didn't really aim at him. There we go. It all hit him. But uh, yeah, now let's hit him with the... Well, we, we can't really damage people with this, but we'll put it on for display's sake. Can we teleport through walls with this? No, not through walls, uh, just regular side-to-side -side stuff, but that's fine. So we will hit him with the teleport now, flash slash. Charge. Redirect. Okay, no, bad example. Ooh, shard. <laughs> Right, we'll hit him with it, jerk up a little bit, go, and then you see that once you hit someone, uh, if you quickly move your mouse, you'll redirect and go in the new direction. So we moved to fire because uh, the train's not super flat in the water map, and I want to get a really good look at how you can get the same person four times oh. uh, with the teleport. So I will just try here on this guy, if I can hit him. One. Nope. That is just one. Man, people are just disconnecting everywhere. Come on, you can do it. Okay, so for demonstration purposes, I'm going to just anchor someone so that you can see the effect, because I really want you to see it. It's really quite cool. Come on, just calm yourself for one minute. There we go. There, bam, 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 bam. Gotcha. So you can do the four, same person four times. If you aim it correctly, which is a little bit difficult to do, but you can do it. Uh, maybe we can do it one more time. One, two, three. He's dead now. So there you go. So now I will finally show you the angel alt. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use it in the fire job zone just because there's a lot of people here and no one else was over there. Uh, it is called the Arcane Guardian. User pulls a star from the heavens and fires a holy arrow at it to infuse it with power. Uh, this in turn causes it to rain high damage explosions on those below whilst healing the caster. That's right, we have another ult that heals you, the previous one being, um, was it Nightmare? Man, look at me just dodge these guys while I'm talking. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at that. Here we are. Hello, friends. What's up? Oh, I missed one. But look, you can walk around during it, uh, gaining health, and also get hit by his Nightmare bullets, but that's fine. He's almost dead. Finish him off. And there you go. Pretty cool stuff. Man, this game is hectic on update today, yeah? Anyway, uh, thank you viewer for watching. This has been the Angel Element. I've been your host, Dorsh Tomo. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and know that there is a lot more like it on my channel. Waiting for you if you do decide to subscribe. All sorts of stuff like glitches in the game, me playing other games, uh, lots of good stuff. So, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Boop.